How's it going everyone, Brutal Simons here and uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to use the PS4 save mounter on Jailbreak 9.00. So first things first, you need to go and enable the Jailbreak, make sure to do that. Next you need to go to a, a host that has the PS4 debug payload on it and run it. Make sure that the website is for 9.00 because the uh, older versions will not work, okay? Next, we need to run FTP server. You can do this through the Orbis FTP application or from gold hand settings in the PS4 settings or like run the FTP payload on a host. Whichever you decide to do this, just run FTP and then go to uh, PC and open FileZilla. Connect PC and PS4 through FTP. Okay, go to user, home, all right, select the account that the games are on. Okay, go to save data. Now you need to find the game that you want to copy the saves to. So here it is. I have uh, infamous first line here. And now we're going to back up the original saves because we're going to need them later. All right. So I'm going to back up the original saves here. I'm going to go with um, user three. So Let's select user 3, make sure to select both files, okay? Alright, we're done. They're copied to this folder. Now we need to go uh, and open the uh, save mounter application, okay? Let's do that. Double click. Alright. Now we're going to have to uh, type the uh, IP address of the PS4 here. Okay, just type the PS4's IP address there and hit connect. Uh, make sure that the status is connected. Okay, click on setup and your account username should appear here. Okay, click get games. And now we're going to look for the game and select it. The game that you want to copy the saves to it. We're going to find it here and select it. Okay, hit search. And now you should see uh, all of your save data uh, here. So as you can see, I have like 2% 2 uh, 2 progress here. Okay. I'm going to select uh, user 3. Okay. And then we're going to mount. Because if you don't mount the original save, uh, for some reason, the, uh, the modded save will not uh, be mounted. So yeah, make sure that you do this step. It's very important. Okay. Mount and mount and then... We go here and delete the original saves. We have them backed up, so no worries there. Okay, now we need to copy the modded saves that you got from another account or from the internet here. Okay, copy them here. Now this is very, uh, very important, okay? Make sure to only change the number of the user, okay? Don't rename it to SDIMG like the original save because if you do that it will not be mounted and it will not work so only only change the number of the user okay don't rename it to SDIMG all right okay so we're done with this step let's go ahead and mount it hit mount and uh, as you can see down here, it has been mounted successfully. Now we need to go and grab the uh, decrypted save file because uh, all of these are encrypted. The actual decrypted save file is here in MNT, okay? PFS, all right? And as you can see, the game is here. This is uh, infamous first light. Go ahead and open that. And here's your decrypted save file, the modded decrypted save file. Go ahead and drag it and drop it to the desktop. Copy it, whatever you want to copy it, just copy it to your PC. Okay, and now we need to go and unmount it because uh, we don't need it anymore. We just copied it. Okay, unmount. Okay. Now we need to go back all the way to uh, the save data folder okay go to user home okay go to the account save data 
the games folder. All right, now we need to delete the two modded saves that we copied, okay? So delete both of them. And now we need to go to the uh, original saves and restore them, okay? We're gonna restore them. Just drag them and drop them again. Here. All right, we're done. Now we need to mount them so we can copy the uh, decrypted save file. So go ahead and mount this. Mount the original saves. Okay, mounted successfully. Go back all the way to the root directory. This is like uh, much faster. Okay, just type slash and hit enter. Go to MNT. All right, PFS. Okay, and this is the original save file. Delete it. And then copy the uh, modded save. All right, this is the decrypted modded save. Copy it here. And the final step is crucial. Go back to the save mounter and unmount. Do not forget to unmount because if you don't, the save will not show up in the game and it will not work. Now let's go ahead and test it. I only had a 2% uh, progress. So we're gonna try to load the uh, new mounted save. I'm gonna skip ahead because, you know, loading screen and such. So I'm just gonna skip ahead. All right, so the game started and I'm gonna go to the uh, save data uh, section and load the uh, mounted 100% save file. So hit load game. And as you can see, it's here, 100%. As you can see, this is the one that I just mounted. So I'm just gonna load it and I'll be back in a second. All right, so the uh, mounted save, the modded save with 100% completion has been loaded successfully. And uh, if we go here to the uh, upgrades, you can see that all the upgrades are unlocked. And uh, th this is the game completed, basically. This is a 100% playthrough. So yeah, this is how it works, but there are a few notes that I need to mention. The first one is that save mounter for jailbreak 9.00 will only show you the account that you used to enable the jailbreak and run PS4 debug. It will not show you all the other profiles that you have on your PS4 and therefore it will not show you the games and saves that you have on those other accounts. So yeah, this is the first note. The second note is Yes, you can use saves from different regions without any issues. You can copy a save file from a European game to a USA game and it will work. So obviously there's going to be a lot of questions about this. So yes, it works. Go ahead and try it out. Three, don't do this while the game is running. Don't try to mount saves while the game is running. Four, don't mess with the SCE sys folder. Leave it untouched, don't change anything in it, and completely ignore it. That brings us to the end of this tutorial. If this was helpful to you, if you learned from it, make sure to hit that like and subscribe, and I will see you soon in future videos. Take care.